Hello and welcome to the Daily Word. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. There goes a simple story of a father trying to explain the importance of the season of Advent to his 10-year-old son. He stresses on the need to prepare oneself well for Christmas. The father said, "You ought to give up something in Advent. Something you will really miss." like for example chocolates the boy thought for a moment and then asked what are you giving up daddy i am giving up liquor the father replied but before dinner you were drinking something the boy protested oh that was only wine said the father i gave up hard liquor to which the boy replied well then i think even i'll give up hard chocolates Giving up completely in life becomes a hard challenge and a difficult task. But only in going through the tough way can one obtain true success in life. The gospel of the day, the annunciation of the Lord, is a witness to this great aspect of giving up. How can this be? This was the question that the innocent and surprised Mary asked. the majestic angel of god mary had been betrothed to joseph this meant she had formally agreed to marry him but the wedding had not yet taken place between the betrothal and the wedding feast was a period usually lasting 6 months to a year during that period the couple was considered to be married and were called husband and wife but they did not live together and they did not consummate in this context and background to be chosen and to be visited by the splendor and power of god's messenger to be told that she was to be conceived and bearing a child to be declared that she was to be a mother of god's son was highly disturbing shocking and even fearful prospects it was pretty natural for mary to pose this probing question how can this be in her heart it was slowly dawning that life was going to be highly different hereafter if we suppose that her wedding feast is still 4 or 5 months away like teenagers everywhere we can imagine that all her thoughts are centered on things that prospective brides think about the guest list the decoration the food the music what she will wear where they will house the people coming in from out of town her future life with her beloved husband mary had never been happier this was the most exciting time of her life but the plan of god intervened at this joyful undisturbed serene phase of her life often when life moves on and even path we face the ex- unexpected bumps of trouble gone were the happy dreams of a grand wedding gone were the hopes for the most beautiful wedding to the most wonderful man gone were all her girlish hopes of a quiet life in a home she would personally decorate gone were the visions of a house full of children conceived in love and filled with mirth Life was calling Mary to make the choice of giving up completely giving up her dreams and desires totally to share in the magnificent plan of God's will giving up her fears and apprehensions fully to leap into a dimly lit world of faith she will have a wedding feast but not the way she planned she will be married but not before rumors spread through the countryside she will have a home but over her family will rest an uneasy cloud of dark suspicion it will all happen but not the way she expected she had to give up all her desires her will her dreams her expectations today each one of us is being invited to challenge to give up things in life give up our will in favor of god's will in our life 
give up our sinful tendencies to allow purity and holiness to overshadow us give up our selfish desires and interests to make space for the needs of others give up our personal time of comfort and luxury to give more time to the lord give up our judgmental attitudes and embrace the spirit of gentleness and forgiveness give up our wrecking feelings of brokenness and let in god's presence and grace to heal us no doubt that this giving up is a hard task and may even be impossible to us but angel gabriel assures us for with god nothing is impossible Mother Mary is the greatest human example of impossibilities being converted to realities through God's power. In her yes, humanity said yes to God. In her giving up, humanity has given up the sinful nature. She is our model disciple to imitate. Let us imitate Mother Mary in her dare and courage for the sake of God's kingdom to give up completely. Let us pray. God our Father, give us your grace that we may be open to your word. Lord Jesus Christ, help us to do the Father's will just as you did. Holy Spirit, be our comforter and counselor and lead us on our way. Amen. Thank you for joining us on the daily word. Until next time, be cheerful. filled with hope and peace god bless